Hello everybody, I'm back. I haven't posted in a while on YouTube, but um, I have been very active on Instagram. The topic of today's video is how the narcissist tries to rub in your replacement after the relationship. So after the discard phase, they break up with you. Maybe you break up with them because you just can't take it anymore. You can't take any more of the, the abuse, the lies, the cheating. Um, I made a video specifically on the cheating and I'm glad it's helped many of you. Anyway, discard phase, you leave them, they leave you. Um, regardless, they try to hoover. They try to see if they can hurt you again. They try to see if they can con you again. If they can con you, they've got you where they want you. So when they hoover, they try to claim that they miss you. They just make all these bogus claims, they miss you, think about you all the time, care about you still. But let me tell you guys something. If they cared about you, they wouldn't do the things that led to you being hurt. They wouldn't hurt you, period. They wouldn't intentionally, intentionally hurt you. Nor would they cheat on you if they cared about you. Keep that in mind. So they message you, like I said. They try to get in contact with you. You have the bogus claims that they miss you. That will quickly progress to them telling you about the person that they left you for, your replacement. This is done intentionally to inflict pain, create jealousy, the same things that they did in the relationship. They use triangulation in the relationship, they do it after, after the relationship. And they try to hoover. They tell you about the replacement to inflict pain. Plain and simple. And create jealousy. There's no other motive. Because inflicting pain in you, inflicting jealousy in you, is how they get narcissistic supply, supply and the most wicked human beings possible in order to feel whole have to destroy others and this is exactly what they're trying to do to get that narcissistic supply narcissistic supply So following the use of those tactics, telling you about your replacement to make you feel like absolute shit, they completely play dumb. They pretend as if nothing ever happened. Their tactics to inflict pain during the relationship didn't happen. Everything they're currently doing didn't happen. They were just trying to be friends with you. And like I said, if they wanted to be friends, the only way you could be friends is if you weren't exes. But you are, and they're your exes for a reason. And most likely because of their chronic selfishness, their narcissistic nature, and their tactics. It just amazes me how they can do what they do and pretend to have no recollection of anything they've ever done. They come out of nowhere. They literally come out of nowhere. And that's why it's so important to go to contact immediately, block, block like crazy. Uh, phone numbers, 
social media accounts because they're always going to try to show up again and most likely to tell you about your replacement and inflict further pain, additional pain. And as always, what they're going to do is say, I was just trying to be friends with you. And like I said, it's completely bullshit. Your ex is for a reason. There's no way you could be friends. Um, and it's an excuse for, for hurting you. And they know they're what they're they know what they're doing. So when a narcissist tries to hoover, it's really about trying to inflict additional pain and still control your life. It's really all it is. They want to rub in your replacement, of course. Like I said several times, to, to inflict pain, create additional jealousy. Uh, triangulation is their tactic. That's their go-to tactic um, when hoovering. And um, it is so important. If you haven't already, block them. And when they message you and you haven't blocked them already, block them. Don't respond because if you respond, you allow them to escalate the conversation. And you give them an opportunity to say something that is going to hurt you a lot. And I think this is what happened to me um, very recently. And uh, I don't want it to happen to, to any of you. Um, so like I said, be careful. No contact is the answer. Really, it is. You, that's the only way you, to ensure that you don't get hurt.